In Japan, people frequently employed superstitions to explain things that were beyond their comprehension. The strange became something real with this rich supernatural world inhabited by monsters and spirits. 10. Getting lost at night. According to legend, supernatural beings were as hazardous at night in Japan as wild animals and robbers. Because the moon and stars provided the only available illumination, it's easy to see why so many Japanese individuals resorted to wayfinding methods based on them. Superstition has always been a part of the human race. Bad luck, for example, was sometimes feared as causing detours in ancient times. Monster sightings were used to document these bad luck events. The Nurikabe, Japanese yokai, is one such creature, which is generally invisible but is said to be. In many ways, the Nurikabe was a mischievous yokai. Whenever someone changed their path, the wall would extend or move inexplicably to block their way. There's not much of an accurate historical record on the subject of Nurikabe, but according to one passage, Japan was not Nurikabe free. Jejij no Katero is a popular yokai living in the dangerous masquerade realm. One of his yokai encyclopedias says that he encountered an ancient demon called Nurikabe while at military service in Papua New Guinea. Such an encounter, of course, should be taken with grain of salt. Following in the footsteps of Japanese authors who wrote books about yokai, strange phenomena, the author leaves some of his stories unreferenced and likely invented them himself. 9. Mysterious Footsteps from an Empty Room Large houses in ancient Japan were open affairs with rooms separated by shoji screens. The house would get noisy and often it felt like the noise came from different places. When you heard rustling noises or footsteps in an empty room, superstitions had it that a Zashiki Warashi spirit was inhabiting the house. A Zashiki Warashi is childlike spirit that sometimes lives in homes. The kids were believed to have been at most 12 as old and would from time to time appear in front of the property's residence. The funny thing about Zashiki Warashi is that, despite the unsettling noise they made and their wispy appearance, they were said to be benevolent creatures. Not only did they bring good fortune to those with homes, but also took it away if given the command. A Zashiki Warashi, also referred to as a household spirit, is brought into your home on certain occasions to bring prosperity while they're there. A notable example of this is when the family in the story found their lives had suddenly improved after they welcomed one into their home. The Zashiki Warashi started to live with a family at one point, where they helped them become prosperous. But later they decided to leave because the family was prospering without them. However, soon after, this family ended up poisoned by mushrooms and all of their members died. This left the two Zashiki Warashi next to no choice but to move. Some believe Zashiki Warashi are spirits associated with wealth, but they're more likely to be used to explain the sudden rise and fall of wealthy families. 8. Missing Children According to ancient Japanese superstition, most missing children were kidnapped by a monster known as a Nubium. A Nubium is a bird-like creature that transforms into a woman after its feathers are plucked. The Yubium were thought to be the spirits of women who perished in childbirth, but they could also have perished while expecting. Even when the parent has passed away, their love for their lost kid lingers on and drives them to take one of theirs. The topless woman with a baby is another variation of the Yubium. The Yubium would beckon travelers at crossroads and bridges, requesting that they hold her kid while she ran an errand. The person who was holding the baby recited a Buddhist prayer at which point the Yubium came back and acknowledged them for restoring her child to life. In certain instances, Yubium was looking for guardians to care for her kid after her death. In others, she did so herself by making brief trips into the city to acquire goods with money that became dried leaves when she vanished. 7. Missing Lantern Oil In ancient Japan, night work was generally carried out with oil lamps. Unfortunately for those who made their living at night, the preferred oil was fish oil, which both mice and cockroaches loved. The bugs would drink the oil and force the employee to waste time repelling them. The Himamushi Nudo, 
sometimes called the oil liquor or the monster of a thousand teeth, was considered to be a terrible creature that stole oil. When people felt that the loss of oil had been excessively great for the creatures to have stolen, they believed that it was taken by a horrible monster known as the Himamushi Y. Despite the folklore, Yakai catalogers were not oblivious to the connection between cockroaches and Kawaja, and the monster was frequently shown alongside cockroach symbolism. The Himamushi Nudo was frequently represented with cockroaches and other related symbols like mugwort and chickens, which were thought to keep the pest away, as it was believed that the insect came from cracks in Kama, or Japanese sides. This relationship resulted in the hypothesis that giant anthropomorphic cockroaches were Haramushi Nudo. 6. Dirty Ceilings and Night Chills The ancient Japanese houses were extremely chilly in the winter due to their lack of modern heating and insulation. Those with high ceilings got rather gloomy at night. Winter's chill and the darkness were attributed to a monster known as the Tenjo name My Superstition. The creature would float high in the room, lowering the temperature and blurring the ceiling. It was a tall, skinny thing with a long tongue that it applied to the ceilings. The Tenjo name's licking of the ceiling made it dirtier, not cleaner. As a superstition, blaming filthy ceilings, winter chills, and nightfall on a monster may seem ludicrous. It's uncertain how widely accepted this particular story was, even as a myth. Modern researchers believe that the writer of the first historical yakai encyclopedia, in which the Tenjo name appeared most likely manufactured it without any prior belief in its existence. 5. The feeling of being watched. Taking refuge in an abandoned house may have been necessary for protection against the elements in ancient Japan, just like it is today. It was commonly held that persons who slept in an abandoned home had the sensation of being watched by an unknown presence. Unwilling to believe it was simply their imagination, superstition believed that unwelcome visitors were being observed by the house itself. The old, abandoned home would grow hundreds of eyes that watched them endlessly, earning it the name Mokimokurin. The concept of the Mokimokurin was intended to be somewhat tongue-in-cheek. It's thought to be the work of the same artist who created the Himamushi Nudo. The Mokimokurin's eyes, on the other hand, appeared more perplexed than demonic. It was reportedly created as a result of the former owner of the home playing Go. The squares on the board game and the pieces were called eyes in Japanese, mocking the Mokimokurin's countless eyes. More than 80 of Seiken's yakai were created, many to lampoon unscrupulous monks and ancient Japan's red light districts. 4. Unexplained noises from the house. In modern Japanese, yenari means the shaking or rattling of a house, usually caused by an earthquake. The term itself stems from folklore and superstition. Any strange noise a home made was attributed to the yenari, who shook, hammered, and pounded on the walls in ancient Japan. While earthquakes were prevalent in ancient Japan, it wasn't recognized that numerous little quakes occurred all day long that were undetectable. The Yenari was blamed for causing mischief when a home shook for no apparent reason. Because modern homes settle into their foundations and the nightly drop in temperature causes their materials to bend, they were almost certainly quite noisy at night. Ancient Japanese houses which were frequently built of bamboo, wood, thatch, and packed earth, were almost certainly very noisy during the night. Then, to add to the mess, there was wind and any animals that may have snuck in while it was still in the cave. The Yenari would become quite the busy little monster as a result of this. 3. Disappearances According to ancient Japanese mythology, ordinary animals were frequently more than they appeared. Foxes, in particular, were believed to be behind a number of supernatural pranks. Foxes were once thought to be beautiful females who lured males away from their families after nightfall, and they often confined themselves to small pranks. They could also be linked with more sinister activities such as arson and kidnappings. After dark, foxes are sometimes believed to transform into attractive women who entice men away from their families. A young woman was walking through town after dark when she came upon an amorous guy. 
At his insistence, she took him back to her house, and the two spent the night together. Meanwhile, his family had been looking for him for over two weeks. His new wife became pregnant, and a few months later, she delivered him a son. Meanwhile, his relatives had been hunting for him for almost two weeks. When they finally gave up hope of finding him alive, they prayed to the goddess Canon for his body. Canon answered their pleas, and a man suddenly emerged from beneath the storehouse's floorboards, while the mystical fox clan that had kidnapped him ran away. 2. Falling Down The Japanese were superstitious, and it didn't make sense to them that someone could simply fall down from time to time, so they believed people were knocked down by a monster. The kamitachi, or sickle weasels, were packs of enormous weasels that rode the winds and inflicted wounds and scrapes on innocent humans. Three kamitachi worked together faster than the eye could see. The first would knock the victim down, and the second, with the sickles, would cut at them until a third came behind to heal the wounds. After getting up and discovering a slice, the victim would claim they had been wounded by a sickle weasel. For cuts and scrapes that someone may not be willing to admit, they were a readily available excuse. Rather than stating they had been engaged in hazardous activities, several individuals blamed their injuries on sickle weasels. 1. Sleep Paralysis Sleep paralysis is more common in Japan than in other countries, with up to 40% of the population experiencing it at some point during their life. However, it's more likely a cultural quirk than a hereditary one. It's known as Kanishibari in Japan, which roughly translates to bonded by metal. It is regarded a well-known occurrence in Japan. Japanese sleepers are simply more used to recognizing Kanishibari than people from other countries. However, spirits are frequently blamed for preventing you from moving while resting half asleep in bed. Children as young as elementary schoolers have reported seeing ghosts or intruders entering their bedrooms and pinning them down while they sleep. Sleeping with a stuffed toy allegedly attracts the binding ghost, as does sleeping on one's back, according to children. Others claim it's because you were unkind or studied too much. Some are intrigued by Kanishibari and make a point of employing these methods to create psychological tension. In conclusion, the Japanese folklore monsters have been around for a long time and have been a part of Japanese culture for centuries. There are many different types of folklore monsters, and each one has its own unique story. Thank you for watching. You can support us by hitting the like and subscribe buttons. See you soon.